Check out Strictly Street on YouTube. Hell yeah, bro. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> it's yeah, recording. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's that for UDL. So uh, we're, we're going to go get some runs in tonight. We're going to see what we could do. Um, UDL just did a... What's it called? Just a sound tube on Foster sound tube on his uh, intake. So now you can hear the blower really noticeably. It's super loud now. Um, but we're gonna go get some runs in. I added I added a new part to the car, so I'm gonna I want to get some runs with some cars that I've already ran to see if it makes a noticeable difference or not. And um, got an avalanche over there, revving. But um, went to the track last night. Only we made three passes. Two of them weren't even really passes because I just blew the tires off immediately. So um, I didn't even stay in it. And then the third pass, they, they re-prepped the track right before that pass. And I still spun. Had to completely let out and get back in it, but I did actually make a full pass on that. Ended up running an 11-4, so still did really, really bad. But, um, but I'm going to go ahead and insert those clips. And we also got the car retuned. It made 453 this time. So gained a little bit, but um, I just want to see if it makes a noticeable difference as far as cars that I've already ran. If I uh, I want to run that gray Audi that I've ran a few times now. He has always beaten me. I've never beaten him, so I want to see if I can get a little bit closer to beating him this time. But I guess we'll just tune in whenever we get to the meet, guys. And uh, supposedly there's an Audi R8 that's supposed to be there. So if he's there, we're definitely got to make sure we run him too because that's going to make a good video. So we're here. Uh, already tried to make two passes. Car blew the tires off immediately, as y'all will see, or as y'all have already seen in the video. Um, they're re-prepping it right now. I was just gonna leave, but they're re-prepping it. So hopefully we can actually hook this time. I don't know. Udiel showed up. He wanted to make a pass with the GT500, but um, yeah, so far the night has kind of been a bust, at least for me. That's the thing, buddy. Boy. I just got here, bro. I'm not gonna do good. Cameron's gonna make fun of me in this video. Hey, you're gonna do better than me. I ran like a 25. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Why'd you I let, let out? out? I let out and just you just rolled. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, hopefully, I mean, now that they're prepping the track, hopefully we'll hook, but I don't know, man. We'll see. Like an 11.6, 11.7, I 
11.7. That's going to be my guess on what the time was, but we'll get to sleep real quick. All right, coming up on the booth. Thank you. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. That was better than I was expecting, but still bad. So that was a 11.4. So not good. Still spun. And I am not going to make another pass tonight because there's no point. All right, so video one of the trade whips. He's got to drive mine. I'm surprised that he fits in like the straps and everything because that's set up for me. But I'm gonna drive the GT500. Here we go. By the way, this car is stick. For those of y'all that don't know, this car is stick, so I'm gonna be driving this whole one arm. But I know how to drive stick, I drive stick every day. Alright, so right now I'm in Cameron, strictly streets, slow marrow. So Cameron's behind me. I just got my own car, but it's only because I did a uh, actually downshifted that last run. All the other runs I just stepped on it, and uh, he beat me. But this last one I actually downshifted. I told him to take off in fourth gear, just because it's the longest gear and Cameron can't really shift. So he had to be in like in third. If he was in third, he probably would have beat me again. But I mean, it was fun to race our cars against each other. Right, so Udio just drove my car. What you think, man? That was fun. I drove his. We did we did some pulls. And he told me to leave it in fourth, but I put it in third. And, dude, that shit was fun. Now I understand why the, the stick people talk about, you know, racing stick, how it, it's funner. Honestly, it is funner. Like, that shit was pretty fun, not gonna lie. What do you think, buddy? I mean, it felt good. Auto not for you? No, I like autos. I'm gonna auto swap my car. You got it? That shit ain't focusing. There it goes a little bit. But yeah, that shit was fun though. But we just got to the meet, so we're gonna see what's up. We're gonna see who all we can run. And uh, and yeah, we'll, I'll let y'all know what cars we're gonna run and I'll try to kind of explain what they got done to them.
All right, guys, so it's the next day, so let's go over the runs real quick. Um, I didn't really get to record any of the cars at the meet because when all the cars started going out, I really wasn't ready. So I had to rush and set the GoPro up real quick and all that. So um, I didn't really get to show any of the cars that I got to run, but we'll go over. We'll go ahead and go over the runs. So the first run was with the truck. That is a built motor, pro-charged truck. He has a nitrous kit installed, but he wasn't spraying it yet. Uh, he kind of just got the blower done, so... He's not really wanting to spray it yet, but he probably will in the near future. And then, so we got some runs in with him. Uh, the car was hitting limber. You could probably, you could probably hear it in the videos, maybe. But um, after after those runs, I just started shifting it myself because it was it was hitting limber. So we got to make some adjustments with the trans tune because we did uh, raise the rev limiter a little bit more. So um, so yeah, we're gonna just have to make some small adjustments, but nothing major. And then after the truck, we ran the Audi R8. So the Audi R8 is just exhaust. It's a 2015 Audi R8 V10. So it just has exhaust. I don't know the specs on those, but I'm assuming it probably makes like mid 500s crank. So we got him pretty good. I was kind of surprised with that, but it was cool to you know to kind of run a I guess you could call it a supercar um, and you know see how we stack up. But I want to run one of the newest body style. Audi R8s because I think those make like 600 or maybe over 600 crank so that would probably be a pretty good run and uh, honestly I feel like one of those would probably get me but that would be interesting to see especially to see the comparison between the previous generation and the newest generation R8 and then after the R8 we ran um, UDL's GT500 so a VMP blower throttle body quarter intake pulley headers and it's still on 93 that car makes about 650 to the wheels and um, that was a pretty good run we did a 40 roll and I kept up with them a lot longer than I thought I would have uh, last time we ran I didn't keep up with them that long so I feel like the car maybe did get faster but um, by 140 I think he had about a half a car on me maybe a full car uh, and then when we let off he probably had just over a full car on me so it was not a bad run at all pretty good uh, I was very happy with that outcome and then we ran, uh, who else did we run? Oh, then we ran the Blue C7 that I ran a while back. So since then, he has done uh, headers and meth. So that car is a lot faster now. Uh, he got me by about a car and a half, but I didn't get that on video since he was on my right side and my camera was on my left. And then we also ran a C6 Z06 heads cam. And um, that car, I think, makes like around 550 wheel as well and um, you know he he got me but it was actually way closer than I was expecting I was with him for a good bit he probably had me by about a car and a half when we let off so um, I was really happy with that outcome too because C6 Z06's with heads and cam are pretty fast so uh, I was really happy with that and overall I think the car is running pretty good um, like I said we do got to make adjustments to the trans tune but for the most part the car seems like it's running pretty strong and I'm trying to think what else oh we didn't get to run the rs3 the gray one uh, i wanted to but he was on a full tank of gas and he had a kind of heavy passenger so i don't think he really wanted to run because i did get beside him but he wasn't like downshifting or anything so uh maybe next time you know i can catch him with less fuel and hopefully no passenger that way we can run and you know get actual good data because i feel like if we were to run last night with him having a full tank and a passenger i feel like i probably would have got him pretty easily so um so that really wouldn't have done any good for me as far as to try to see the difference on um if we actually got faster or not so next time hopefully he'll be on less gas and we'll run it back but um overall it was a really good night you know we also got to drive with else gt500 so that was pretty fun we did some quick little pulls they weren't really like racing you know what i mean because most of them he was just in drive and just floored it and then there was one where he actually did downshift but I gave him the hit on that and I started coming back. I was coming back pretty good I got probably within like three quarters of a car and then um, and then I missed fifth so um, So I didn't get around him on that one, but we'll probably honestly we'll probably do that again sometime I'll show him how to drive my car and then but we got to get the trans tune straightened out first and then um, And then maybe we'll try it again or something, but overall it was a fun night. We got some pretty good runs in and got some decent data on the car so um like i said once we make some adjustments to the trans tune i think we're gonna be all right 
and uh, maybe you know go out of town sometime pretty soon and go run some new people but anyways guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel please subscribe and i'll catch you on the next video